What you see here is the United States sending a message to Mexico City. Unless you solve your problem on your southern border, you're going to have a problem with your northern neighbor. So what you see here is the United States is narrowing the amount of territory it has to defend in case, indeed, the migrant caravan tries to come to the border, have a sit-in, or literally run the border here at the port of entry in San Ysidro, where the Mexicans have already helped out. They've shut down four lanes of traffic here. So they brought in these barriers in case the people come up. Then they got these ones here they can bring in very quickly, mobilize, and literally move them right over here. But what the United States did today, they've never done before here, shut down the border for five hours. So they can bring in more K-rails, or these concrete barriers, and Constantina wire. I want to show you some video that we shot yesterday of how irate people here in Tijuana already are with the caravan. Van. There were maybe a thousand very passionate people throwing water bottles, beer cans at riot police saying, Viva Mexico, Hondurans go home, we don't want you here. Immigration, yes, invasion, no. The police barricade held, but just barely. It bent, but did not break as they stopped a confrontation near the migrant shelter. You see people, uh, you know, within the uh, migrant caravan smoking uh, weed, uh, drinking. Uh, throwing rocks at the cops, uh, causing chaos. Some of these people that are coming into these with these caravans are committing crimes, uh, and so uh, we are protesting. Uh, I am protesting that we want the government to take control. Now, their point of view is basically this. They feel that these migrants entered illegally, even violently, at the Guatemala border. They feel they lack documentation, that they're going to bring crime, and that they're ungrateful. One social media post from a migrant saying she didn't like the beans and rice went viral. They said, if you don't like our food, go home. Now, there are defenders here as well saying Tijuana has a responsibility to welcome and protect the migrants. It feels like um, they invaded and uh, that was not the correct way, but I know all of them are not like that. We are here for work, to have a better life, and no trouble, not troublemakers. So there are 6,000 migrants here right now. That shelter has become somewhat of a refugee camp. Many want them gone. There's a job fair today for jobs here in uh, the Maquiladores, about 3,000 and elsewhere around the country. Bill? Thank you, William.